Let's do the old hour. Eh, you might be. I uh, might be doing the same course this whole time, but maybe not. Uh, no, that looks kind of crappy. It's always hard though when you start zooming in, you start seeing stuff that's not there. Let's see what this. Let's let's try and line up this old data as best as possible here. Okay, it looks like it changed course. <clears throat> Excuse me. We can go faster. Make turns for 12 knots. Maneuvering, I. What way is the cure off going for 600 bucks? <laughs> yeah, this is not default mission. This is uh, this is made by Mr. Tamburillo, 1994 there, Nikita, Nikita. Yeah, the Toshiba's role in that gets overplayed. I think. I think I saw something saying that their role, it's not insignificant, but... It's overplayed. The Russians are smart people. Some of the world's best mathematicians have come from Russia. <clears throat> oh, now we're getting that third frequency. Are we getting the fourth? Speaking of British accents, did anyone see the royal wedding today? Nope, no fourth. We're, we're going to have to be pretty close to get that fourth. Everyone's good at stealing shit. I mean, it makes sense fiscally. If you can't make it yourself, why not steal it? <laughs> That's going to be quoted, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, one could argue that two asymmetrical of power advantages can be detrimental to the stability of the world. But I am in no way a global strategist or anything. <laughs> okay, well we can we can be we can be time lapse in here. We can be doing some judgment lapse and Huh. For some reason I just got the urge to watch the first Terminator. Don't know why. Just came out of nowhere. Still doing 10. He's coming at me. That is true. Let's uh let's cut across them. Come right to course one, three, two, hell my. Well he was getting uh, that's true.
Yeah, that is true. I'll cut across here. I'll figure it out. They may not have changed course then. Make turns for 10 knots. Maneuvering eye. <laughs> One of the detriments of doing TMA yourself, you get sometimes caught up too much in the technical aspect of it without thinking about the big picture. But yeah, he's definitely coming this way. That is me. No sweat. Oh, yeah, okay, there's your WAA, 24,000 yards, which is pretty much right about where I had him with that solution, so there you go. <laughs> okay. Not in firing range yet, but getting there. Steady on course. One, three, two. We'll go uh, this way right now to get some maximum bearing rate on this dude. Firm this up, and then we can go ahead and get ready to launch a full spread. Yeah, Nikita, I played Cold Waters. I got a bunch of videos, a bunch of streams on Cold Waters if you want to check them out. It's pretty fun. It is much more casual than this. You can just jump right in and get, and get action in this game. There's much more of a build-up. Uh, yes, Thomas, you can ram another sub to death. <laughs> uh, I should, I've yet to upload this clip, but a friend and I were like testing stuff, and we decided to crash into each other. And we were like underwater, and like as soon as we hit each other, our boat started like spinning around and doing non physical things. I should upload it, it's pretty funny. Yeah, trust WA whenever it suits you. It always seems to be right over 15k, even though the manual says not to trust it. But I'm just kind of looking at it from a ballpark perspective. Yeah, no active ping, the MCOM is nice there. I'm pretty sure the Kirov does have ass rocks. Armament. Yeah, there's those granites, shipwrecks. They grumble, Sam. Ba, 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 ba. It actually may not. It has the uh, RBUs. But I, it actually may not have. Si I don't think it has any Asrox, actually. It has like three different Sam systems. But no Asrox, just granites. It has two helos, doesn't it? Do they say that in here? Yeah, two helos. Three helos. Two ASW and one targeting. So this, this one's like a... Uh, it's like an AWAX helo kind of thing. That's stallions. Oh, there you go. Yes, it does have stallions. Okay. <laughs> and torpedoes. Stalinos. 
I don't think I've ever heard that story, Rick Tiga, but I've, of course, heard the famous, the infamous, well, I guess that's not really infamous, the famous whiskey on the rocks story. <laughs> was that Swedish or was that Norwegian? I'm guessing Swedish, but it could be Norwegian. I don't remember. Sorry. Hashtag uncultured. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, good old whiskey on the rocks. It's got to be embarrassing. Dude is getting close to the noise ratio four. Can see a little spike. I don't get why it always keeps turning audio off. I don't know what's up with that. I'm trying to hear the guy, but I think it's too far away to hear. You know, I don't think I don't think I've ever seen it abbreviated as war pack. I know it's the Warsaw pack, but I don't know if I've ever seen it that way. Uh, do I not have a tracker on this guy right now? Seems like I'm not getting any data. There you go. Maybe I was. It didn't seem like I was for a second there. Uh, they probably know to some extent that it is, but who knows. <clears throat> Hello, great. The toad duplicates contacts, I'm assuming, because it's either the way it's set up to work where it doesn't, it's not directional in that sense. Or, like, part of me wants to say it doesn't distinguish on, like, a radial sense because, like, the toad could be, like, twirling like this in the water and you don't want it to be, like, upside down and thinking it's, like, over that way when it's really over this way. So I think it mirrors it on that respect, but it could also just be a function of how it's designed. Not sure either way. DW players in China. I feel like there was a point when I played Dangerous Wars with a Chinese, but he may have been Taiwanese instead. I don't know that the Chinese have that ability to play with people outside the country. Can they? I don't know. They live in a somewhat closed society. But yeah, I, I think you can say they know that if they're bad, it's because they keep making new sub designs all of a sudden recently. They're trying to get better subs, and they can get them if they just want to spend more money on them. Subs are expensive. It depends what they want to do with the subs too. If they're making more nuke subs, that means they want to project power. If they make more diesel subs, they want to kind of just protect their shores. But I think I think they do want to make nuke subs for like South China Sea and that kind of area of the world, and possibly get some boats out to the Guam or Hawaii or Tokyo or West Coast U.S. kind of stuff to do some spying. <clears throat> Yeah, it doesn't make sense to me how 
they couldn't make a good it's easy enough to make a good radiation shield just gotta put something big and heavy in the way <laughs> that's pretty much it not hard to do all right let's uh bring this in a little bit refining our slip so yeah we were closing so pretty much or back only we were closing at like close to 17 knots because i was kind of going in an angle so we were closing at around 17 knots or something like that but now we're pretty much just closing at 10 so yeah we were closing pretty quickly 15 to 17 knots or something like that I'm trying to do like sine 45 it's like 0.7 right yeah so 10 knots at a 45 degree angle would be seven knots relative to that direction so yeah we were closing at 17 that's pretty good but now we're just closing at 10. <clears throat> Yeah, Blue Water Navy is expansive. Expansive, expansive. I will be right back. No, I would not want to be a North Korean submarine or God, no. <laughs> oh, yeah, the Chinese, what is it, U-6 torpedo? There's a rumor that it's like a copy of like an early Mark 48 which means it's a quite capable torpedo. U6, possible copy Mark 48 first gen torpedo. At least that's what Reinforce Lord says. <clears throat> yes, you have to sink everything. Shoot everything. Yeah, this is not a uh, rules of engagement teaching scenario. This is a attacking teaching scenario <laughs> well the seal was supposedly designed with shallow operations in mind as well or shallow operations capability i think the virginia has some more advanced type sonars Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what makes the Virginia better at shallow water operations. Well, first of all, it does have a smaller beam, so it can technically squeeze into somewhat shallower waters. Uh, so in real life, I would expect the Virginia to be a little quieter than the Sea Wolf. I think that's just the nature of the fact that the Virginia is like a 20-year younger boat. Maybe not too much quieter. Maybe as quiet, but that's just the RA frequency sheet. Don't interpret it as the rule of God. But yeah, Virginia is cheaper. So you could, from like an engineering standpoint, you could say the Virginia is like as quiet as a seawolf, but since it's made 20 years later, it's cheaper because technology has cheapened since then, or it could even be a little bit quieter. <clears throat> I feel I feel like it would have to be at least as quiet. I couldn't see them making a boat that's louder like 20 years later, 15, 20 years later. <clears throat> Okay, we're getting close to firing range here on our boy. He's holding, seems to be holding decently well in this course. We can refine, refine this a little bit more. We might be even be seeing him on the spherical at this point. Nope. Nothing on the spherical yet. Yeah. 
yeah, the the Sea Wolf was still made with a Cold War mentality where cost saving is not really the principal concern. The Virginia is pretty much just an LA. It's like the same, almost the same length and beam and dimensions, just like with new, newer advanced tech and stuff. The Virginia also is like, I don't think the Sea Wolf has this, but the Virginia has like a modular construction. So in theory, you can more readily swap out the internals of the boat, and make it easier to upgrade down the line. And this, the Sea Wolf is also, it was really kind of designed as like the ultimate it's like an air it's like an air superiority fighter kind of thing. It was meant to just go into the ice cap and just destroy anything in its path. Eight torpedo tubes. The Virginia goes back to four, but the Virginia also has VLS. So the Virginia can more readily launch like tomahawks and stuff. Okay, what's this guy's range? I'm assuming this guy's top speed's in the order of 35 knots or something. 32 knots? Okay. 17 on conventional steam power. That's interesting. Is it a turbine or is it steam? Or is it like a boiler? No, it's a tur it's no steam turbine is different. A nuclear has a steam turbine in it. It'd be a gas turbine. Okay, it's two oil filed two oil fire boilers, so it's boilers. Any kind of power cycle has a steam turbine to make the electricity. A gas turbine and a steam turbine are two very different things. Nuclear steam, the best kind of steam. <laughs> that is true. It'll burn you to death, and then it'll uh, give you a nice dose of radiation. At this point, it is possible the SEALs could still be quieter, though, because they are pretty much relegated to, like, a Special Forces submarine division right now. They all do, like, the three SEALs are based in Bremerton, Washington, and they all do these super secretive clandestine missions. That is true. <laughs> my taxes didn't pay for the seal. That was before my time. My taxes pay for the Virginia. Okay. Our approach is coming pretty well in this guy. He's pretty much just steaming this way. Getting close to firing range. Why is the peak bigger over there than over here? It's the same damn peak. It's the same damn peak. What do we get on WAA? It's still greater than 15,000 yards, technically. But waffling around what I have it to. WAA is showing a little closer, but it's good enough. Good enough where it is right now. One mile isn't too, too much of a concern for a torpedo. Did you ever sink that guy, Eds? What was the issue? Under pressure. 
Yes, Rick Tiga, we were just talking about that last night. I'm definitely going to do a video on that. I think there's some uh, there's a potential market to be tapped there, and it also looks fun. But I've also seen screenshots of it, and they just rip a ton of stuff from Dangerous Waters. I may get as lucky, Mr. Ben. I may get as lucky. That is so bizarre. Oh, that is interesting. That's interesting. Virginia the Sea Wolf. Hmm. I've sunk subs with a Virginia before, but I don't think I've ever sunk a. I never attacked a surface cam in a Virginia. <laughs> yeah, the T lamb waypoints. Unfortunately, going to RA, the biggest thing is always like. They changed how a lot of core concepts work, and if you don't know that, you're going to be like, what the heck's going on? These T lambs keep dropping off at the first waypoint. No fourth frequency yet. Probably not going to get it. Alrighty. A Y I Yoda. Probably screenshots. But if they did make the mod, they probably know how to rip the textures themselves. If that is possible. Not like it would make too much of a difference quality wise. These are like. I mean, these are very 90s looking, even though this came out in the mid 2000s. <laughs> Flat textures. I don't even have any torps assigned to this dude here to start shooting. But I'm gonna probably point myself well I probably don't need to but I I might point myself right at him when I shoot but we will go ahead and do one two three and four here four torps yes four torps I want to be sure I get this daddy-o <laughs> yeah they just nosedive for the bottom which I was thinking might be like a deep countermeasure or something Okay, WA has got him at 16,000 yards, 8 miles. I think we're good to launch. I don't know that we want to get him within 5 miles. I mean, that's... Look. Look at that dot stack right there. Ain't going to get much better than that. Okay. Let us turn towards the target. First, I will set my depth. We're going to do below the layer launch. I did not assign auto crew to these things, but now we're good. Depth 19 feet, ceiling 9. Uh, I want to check that weapons manual again. I didn't have any issue with the Kiev, but now I'm like paranoid about it. A live animal in a submarine? Yeah, a human. <laughs> Oh, dude, I remember. Of course, yeah, I'm never going to forget that, a -Rock. That pissed me off. It's like, can you guys hit the target? That wasn't even RA. That was an issue where if you save a mission, quit it, and load it, and while, while T-Lambs are in flight, they mess up. A cow? I don't even know if you could fit a cow on a sub. Maybe through the torpedo hatch. Why is Adobe... Adobe is freaking out right now, dude. Oh my god. Mark 48. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, if I want anti-surface mode, set the ceiling value to 10. But it should work as anti-surface or anti-submarine set as 9, so I'll just leave it at 9. Because we, we don't have a mixed environment, it's fine. So I'll just leave it as is. Okay. Uh, did I order the depth? No, I did not order the depth. Get us to a depth of 650 feet. Or we'll do 665. Make my depth six. I want to make sure we're really under there because we got this 40 foot beam and this 20 foot tall sail thing going on. 
the way the game works, I think, is like if any of your boats like still above the layer, it still counts who is above the layer. Less QQ, more pew pew. <laughs> Less yapping, more zapping. Yeah, it sounds like animal cruelty to me. <laughs> Come left to course zero three two. Hell my. Okay. Seventeen thousand yads. Oh, we're beneath the layer now. Starting to WAA ain't giving me anything. Uh, let's get this toad in. Retrieve the starboard toad array. Hell my. Oh my god, Roger, that is quite... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> that is quite hurtful. Ten thousand millimeter cannons. What's that? Is that is that ten meters wide? Stream the port toad array, hell my. Alright, we can let's start the music. Launch tube one. Launch tube one. Aye, sir. Launch tube two. Launch tube two. Aye, sir. Con sonar. Unit is running normally. Steady on course. Zero, three, two. Launch tube three. Launch tube three. Aye, sir. Con sonar. Unit is running normally. You've been banned? What are you talking about? Launch tube four. Launch tube four. Aye, sir. Con sonar. It's fun to say it out loud and then hear them say it back. It's like, ah, I'm a make believe captain. <laughs> All right, let's uh, get cooking back this way. Come right to course one, one, Con one. sonar. Hell my. Unit is running let's get normally. back above the layer. Make my depth five, one, five feet. Dive eye. I did mean set to set them to 50 knots so I could tell when they turned on, but it's fine. Well, thankfully, I launched them beneath the layer. You shouldn't be hearing them until a few more minutes. No twist in this plot. No, this I, I I don't expect this to be like the Akula three fight. Oh, this see, this is why I love the seal. If I still have four more ad caps at the ready, if I was in the six AI, I'd have to like probably shut down two or like close two of these doors and get some start reloading the torp. But the seal is just like fire them all, Johnny. What the heck? What, what, what? What are you doing? Uh, that torp just freaked out. Wire. I don't know Two, why. Three. Oh, that might be weapon malfunction. That might just be a weapon malfunction thing. That is programmed in the game now. I forgot about that. Steady on course. One, one, one. Um, we will see what these torps do first. Or should I just get another torp out? Do I need to lower my speed? Eh, I'm pretty quiet. I'm confident he will not hear me at this range of 10 knots. <clears throat> the question is, do I get another torp out now? There's my torps. I gotta refine my boy. 
I'm gonna be loud with these doors open. Well, the one that just shut down, I can close that. That was tube three. Because you do make more noise with torpedo tube doors open and with torpedo tubes flooded for some reason. Reload. Alright, where is our boy? There he is. None the wiser. Seemingly none the wiser. Tracker sign. Con sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing zero two nine. Designated Sierra two one. Yep, he is none the wiser. Maybe even going slower. Eight knots. Oh. Nine knots. Okay. <laughs> I was like, get the hell out of there. At this point, we will turn on auto TMA. <clears throat> Is it dumb to fire all the torps in the Seawolf? No. Not if you have targets for all of them. Hey, Emperor Spraz. Hello. Oh, thank you, Mr. Ben. I would hope three can take a cure off. In the stock game, I know f you need four to sink a Kuznetsov. Yeah, looks like this boy's gonna start. This boy's gonna start running. Range 14,500. Okay, auto TMA is being spoopy. Bring it over this way, boys. Bring it this way, gents. To the left, to the left. Everything I own in a box to the left. The Kuznetsov would probably sink itself. <laughs> what, from rust? Okay, the torps just went out of the shadow zone. That's a pretty far... Sh they just went into the shadow zone. That's pretty far. Four mile shadow zone. That is interesting. Alright, where is our boy? Uh, ooh, no, we need a new Master 3. Oh god, oh god. Okay, so, so he just turned around... I only got him at 20 knots. That's fine. We can probably go ahead and turn these bad boys on here shortly. Not yet. Not yet. Let's give him a little turn. Five degrees to port, gents. Con sonar. Torpedo in the water. Bearing three, four, nine. Con sonar. Torpedo oh, in the water. <laughs> Bearing zero, zero, zero. Con sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing. We'll All up our speed a little bit. Designated Sierra two two con sonar. Don't know where these torps are. I've not seen them on broadband. Nine. Nine. Designated Sierra. But we're gonna two, go ahead three. and uh, see. I'm not seeing anything on broadband here. Getting the pings. I'm gonna go ahead and turn my torps on. We'll see what this first salvo does. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> Dive. Make Retrieve the depth. port total ray. Oh my. I close these Five doors. Dive I. Con sonar. Lost the wire. Tube four. Con sonar. Launch countermeasures. Lost the wire. Hi, sir. Launch countermeasures. Hi, sir. Wire. Launch Tube countermeasures. Hi, sir. Oh, no. Who oh, no. Garbage oh, no. ray. Flooding in the torpedo room. Starboard time. Loading wire has been cut. Snorkel master <laughs> failed, sir. Flooding in the torpedo room. Port side. The periscope is flooded, sir. Oh, 
The radio antenna has failed, sir. The ESM mast has failed, sir. The periscope <laughs> Everything's flooded, failing. Sir. I don't know how his butt saw me. I'm still alive. <laughs> For what that's worth. I don't know where those other tarps were. I didn't see them on the broadband at all. The op has not won yet. I'm still alive. I'm still alive. I'm crippled, but I'm still alive. <clears throat> what are you? Where are you going? Now oh, he must have been launching the decoys or some crap. Make my depth one zero zero seven. All ahead feet. one third. Bye -bye. Hell my. Ah, two to three knots is too slow. <clears throat> Seawolf is very quiet. <clears throat> but he obviously heard me. I was going a little faster at that point, wasn't I? So I speed it up. Probably should have been doing seven. Might have gotten a little cocky with ten. No, that APR that just killed me splashed down on top of my head. I don't know where those ones splashed down. I didn't see them on broadband. One of them just splashed down right on top of me. He may be unlucky. I don't know, because the other two were nowhere near me. But that... I saw it on my sonar show up right there. It was it was right on top of me, I could tell. The bearing rate was obscene. It was right there. Eh, I scooted enough, Ben. I don't know if a scoot would have helped me there. Probably should have stayed beneath the lair. I wanted to get up so I could hear him maneuver. But I may have gotten greedy. That Kiev encounter may have made me a little more uh, confident than I should have been. <laughs> well, I could pop countermeasures, but I'm not really moving that fast, so I'm not sure what good is going to do. I have some out right now already. If you can't really get far away from the countermeasure. Uh, the Sonar Suite is screwed. <laughs> I'll have active sonar in 12 minutes. My active intercept is down for two hours. Hull sonar down for an hour. Hull uh, sphere sonar only down for 10 minutes. Compressed air damaged. I can't launch anything. Starboard towed down for an hour. Port towed down for 15 minutes. It's not terrible. It's pretty bad, don't get me wrong. Uh, towed will be up in 15. Port towed at least. Starboard's down for an hour hour and change but yeah when did they when did these surface ships get so crazy with their decoys because this is definitely new i don't remember this all 
I mean, what's what do you do to counteract this? You babysit your torps. It's pretty crazy. These guys just seem to be stuck in this countermeasure field right here. This guy got through. Yeah, I may get him I may get him good. I may get one shot on him. I guess the trick is be a little more, wait a little longer to enable the torps, because obviously when they start running, it's going to take them longer to enable or whatever. I guess we can speed up some time here. But yeah, he must have gotten lucky with one shot or something, because those other two, I have no idea where they were. Couldn't even see them on broadband. But that one plunged right on top of my head. Uh, he may not be tracking anything. He may just be going. I don't know. This guy's going a random direction. These two are both going that direction, but that's kind of the bearing I told him to run on. But this guy may have something. I think this guy actually has something. I don't think those two have anything. See, he's coming shallow here. Oh? Uh, oh? Uh, ooh? This guy looks like he has something. Boom. Yeah. On sonar. Explosion. Got one hit on him. Yeah, I may want to experiment with using passives on the surface can. Or at least dog like my torps. I can dog like them. Should probably dog like them. I got one hit on him. We're in similar straits. Sphere sensor has been repaired. I like how it says periscope number two. Can I choose between which periscopes I want to use? I thought, I thought you could just use one in game. <laughs> Dog leg means so if, if he was right here, I'd shoot the torps out this way and then turn them in to make it look like they're coming from a different direction. Oh, yeah, I don't know where that was. It was somewhere up here. Oh, no, I have a bearing. What am I doing? I have a 356. Do do boo do ba doo do 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 boo do ba doo do Uh, he should not have heard the transient. I launched them beneath the layer. And in dangerous waters, in, in newer RAs, you don't really hear transients. You detect torps. You really see, like, the torp. You see, like, the noise from the torp itself. You don't really see the transient as much. 
but the shadow zone is pretty long here. I think someone mentioned what is the shadow zone. So when you have a layer, the shadow zone is the point at which you can no longer hear something underneath the layer. And in this map, it's about, it's looking like it's about four miles. So I'm going to actually draw that around me. So the layer doesn't, so like we have a layer here, but like, it's not like as soon as you get beneath that, you won't hear someone above it. The sound is able to pass through it until a certain distance. And then at that point it can pass through it. So at this point here, up until this boundary, excuse me, it's as if the layer does not exist, but out here is where the layer does exist. but we're beneath the layer right now. He's above it. I'm creeping, trying to get stuff repaired. High frequency active sonar repair, propellers repaired. Forward port twos have been repaired. So we're we could technically <laughs> engage at this point if we needed to. We have somewhat rudimentary way of seeing things. The port total rate is gonna be fixed soon here. Port total rate needed 16 minutes at 2330. Port total rate is gonna be ready in a few seconds and we can actually resume this fight. <laughs> How do you find the shadow zone? I want to figure that out. I want to try and see if I can't model this, model this mathematically to figure out where the shadow zone should show up. But that'll be a decently sized project. But there is no really good way to do it now. You'd have to like find a, a, a contact you know is above or below the layer when you're on the other side of it and kind of just like track them and figure out when they disappear no i don't four miles isn't standard i've seen it be closer i've seen it be like a mile and a half i think it depends on the layer depth i think in real life it would also depend on how close you were to the layer and it also is going to depend on how steep and shallow these these curves are Okay, well, let's go this way. Come right to course two, eight, seven, hell my. Let's stream the port. Oh, it's not ready yet. Hello, Jovian, is there a stream? Yeah, I'm streaming right now. Torps are all gone. Gonna drop that guy. And Toad is just about ready to be ready. The other mask, the, the starboard Toad array. Starboard's gonna take a lot longer. 74 minutes from time of time of uh, damage. Port toad array repaired very well. Stream the port toad array. Hell my. The special one. ESM mast repaired. You talking about the rate uh, the the radio mast? Do an XBT. I can get shallower first. Where's the layer at? You want to do XBT shallower if you can, because it has to go all the way from where you are to the surface and then start descending. We're gonna go to six six zero feet. Make my depth six, six, zero feet. Dive I. Port side tubes are good to go. Have to bear that in mind. Can't reload tube two. Oh, the special optical mass? Okay, that might be. I don't know which one is which. This one. Oh, this has the laser rangefinder, doesn't it? Or something? I always forget this thing exists.
the optronic, the photonics mast. Oh, this one's fixed. This one seems to be fixed as well. Yeah, they're both fixed. We may try engaging from further away this time, and then I may, I may, I do want to, I need to get above the layer at some point to see what he's doing, but maybe I'll wait to do that. I don't know. Can that be counter detected, the range finding? I'm assuming since it's a laser, it's much harder to counter detect because it's like, it's focused energy. Retrieve Don't need that much Ray, port out. Elmi. But in general, you need more port than starboard. Port's not as long, I don't think. Ding, 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 ding. Well, if he is, I got time. If it was at alert, if it wasn't at any alert status, <laughs> it's gonna take him an hour to get that thing aloft. Eh? Which will go by quickly, I know. What? What? Oh, that's me. That's me. <laughs> it's like, what the heck am I seeing? I shouldn't be seeing anything on the toad right now. No, I do not. I'm going to do seven knots, and we're going to get above the layer. Make turns for seven knots. Maneuvering eye. Make my depth five. Need to reestablish six, contact one, with this brohine. Dive eye. Laser finger? Sounds like something Goldfinger would have. I don't know. No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. Steady on course. Two, eight, seven. He's probably going slow now. I don't think I'm going to expect to see him on the sphere. I forget he's like basically due north of me. He's not really northwest, he's due north. Foiled two of my torps, but I'm glad one of them broke through. Got the old chap, the old bugger. Oh, I was wondering why it said steady on course. This is the toad. Oh, we overshot. Why are we overshooting? Oh, my rudder is broken. Okay. I thought that was repaired. No, it has not been repaired. That is why we're overshooting. Ew. It's going to make tracking on the... Damn, it's down for a while. It's going to make tracking difficult. If we can't maintain a constant course. If we're always fluttering about. I just want to try and get us, I just want to see him. We probably should retreat for a bit and repair for a while. My damage number is 
we can see him, but it will be spoopy. We can possibly see him. TB16, not as sensitive. There's a new high-speed toad array, though. I saw it on the interweb lately. It's like the TB34 or something. TB36. Yeah, I'm seeing nothing, Nathan. Nada. Oh, wait. Oh, there you go. Hello. I guess it was still beneath the layer a little bit. There's I'm your boy. Sonar. I have a new contact. Bearing 349. Designated Sierra 21. Victor 3? You mean Akula 3? <laughs> Alrighty, there's our boy. What is going to be repaired next? I wish there was a better way to look at this. Sort of by time to repair. There was some quick stuff, and then there's like some long stuff that really isn't that much in-between stuff. Compressed air has been damaged. Levels reduced. Oh, 92%. That's fine. <laughs> compressed air damage. Look, the compressed air tank is either ruptured or it ain't. I guess you could have a slow leak. But I think I feel like it would all blow up if that happened. Stern plane's damaged as well. If I end up winning, yeah. <laughs> May end the stream here. May end it here. Track a review. Oh, we can get him on the demon very well. 11 knots. Okay. Ta ta. Ta ta. Ta 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 ta. The question is now do I want to continue tracking or do I just want to go underneath the lighter and hide somewhere for a bit while stuff repairs? I'm thinking the latter. Maybe just head this way, just get out of the circle for a sec. Lick my wounds. Let this thing heal up. I did take a good lick. I don't know if I should be going at after him with with damaged rudder and damaged planes. I want full maneuverability. Dude, he will mess my butt up <laughs> if I surface. All I'll do is just shoot stingers. I'll just like, just like go right over his boat because I can't lock onto him. Yeah, I don't know what his top speed is reduced to now. Uh, we had an approximate range to that. It was like around here, I want to say, 12 miles, where that torp blew up-ish, somewhere, somewhere around here. Probably not heading that way, but maybe. Yeah, he's probably no more than 40% damage, which is still nothing to shake a stick at. Track him for a while, get his general direction, then go beneath the layer, yeah. Yeah, we'll probably just have to like come up and down, come up from time to time to get tabs on him. But if he doesn't have anything aloft, we can just chill out here, but I would prefer to be beneath the layer. Good chance I crippled him. Yeah, I probably damaged some stuff. I probably didn't. I don't think I did as much to him as he did to me. With a supposedly lucky ass 
shot <laughs> that I'll be interesting to see on the uh, replay there. It's going to be a long replay. That'll be that'll be cut up for short in editing. Not going to have that. Even at like full times time acceleration, that replay would still be insanely long. But I'll do like what I do for past replays. I speed it up even more. I speed that crap way the hell up. But yeah, I'm going to stop here. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Bastard got me with a shot. I'm surprised I'm not dead. I should be dead. I don't think an American sub could survive any torpedo hit unless it hit like maybe the direct front or like the sail or like the direct back. If any of these sections, an American sub cannot survive any compartment being fully flooded. They don't have the reserve buoyancy for it. But yeah, so thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Try and get repaired up here and we'll go for round two. <laughs> see if we can't finish off this op here. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. As always, good hunting.